parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. It is the Wrestling Mayhem Show, episode 733 Tuesdays. We've been talking about professionalized wrestling. I am Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter here in the Sorgatron Media Studios in Pittsburgh, PA. And we have, I don't know, we have a show. I, that's, all I can, that's all I'm going to promise you tonight. We have a show. We're here. We're live streaming. I know we're on Facebook. We're over on Twitch on the Mayhem Show. We're over on uh, the YouTube. Uh, we're over on, not Twitch on the Mayhem Show. I'm on Twitter on the Mayhem Show. Sorgatron Media for Twitch. We're all the places. We stream everywhere. We stream all kinds of things. It's what we do around here. Last night it was jazz. About two hours ago we were talking about saving the rhinos. Because also, by the way, happy World Rhino Day. That is a thing. It's happening right now. I understand elsewhere on the internet. Core. If you're Core. if you're not interested in Core. this, I will give a shout out to go play Rhino Bingo with the International Rhino Foundation and our friend Chris Whitlatch. I'll just put that out there because if, if if this sucks, you got other options. That's it. But we're glad that you're here with us tonight. Right, anyways, with us, uh, and and I'm going to wait if it sucks completely on him coming in late. The Riz is with us. No, right? The Riz is with us. That's the button. <laughs> Riz, how you doing? You, are you frozen or are you posing? I'm not sure right okay. now because it's the it was the thumb point smile, and it was the perfect freeze. That was wow. some Tim and Eric stuff. That right was there. some Tim and Eric stuff, and good. I hate Tim and Eric. Sorry, yeah. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get um, letters for that. Nah, you're good. But yeah, like... Sorg, I was doing research. I was doing fine. Then you know, upstanding um, fine research, sir. We'll, we'll talk about it, Sorg. We'll talk about it. Oh, 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 is this for the homework or something? Did I miss something? Oh, no, no. No? I, I didn't do the homework at all. Oh. <laughs> That's okay. I, I kind of don't blame you this week, actually, uh, because I did watch it, and I have some thoughts. Um, there's going to be – here's a, here, uh, trigger warnings. I ha I'm, I'm mad at a lot of wrestling this week. Um, also, trigger warnings. I didn't watch a lot of wrestling this week. At least not the main show. You have shows. three hours. I had three. What's that? You have three hours of professional wrestling on TV, Sorg. What, what do you mean? I got That's three. all you give. No, 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 That's no. no I don't do that anymore. I just you don't do that anymore? No, I don't do that anymore. I was doing other things. I was doing a jazz concert last night, so I didn't watch wrestling. Then I watched YouTube clips, and I'm glad I didn't waste three hours on wrestling. Anyways, you yeah. know who's here? Who's glad to waste time on wrestling? I got to find better ways to say that. Referee. To the Deathmatch stars, George yes. Ross is joining us in the studio. Fake. Wait, we have an audience member. Applaud, damn it. Why are you doing a silent applaud over there? What are you doing? Louder. Yay! Thank you. Thank you. I'm, Wait, George, how are you doing? Everything's fine, Sword. Everything is fine. Yeah. I didn't even set your camera up. You just Everybody just walked <laughs> in, got in their places, and we started a show. It was wonderful. Literally, that's what happened. That is literally what happened. George showed up with an entourage. I see that the refereeing has uh, has uh, uh, really put you in an interesting place right now. Oh, yeah, totally. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, uh, George, how are you doing? Just good. Um, you know, getting around. May still making rounds, trying to... You know, trying to work as much as possible mm -hmm, mm -hmm. on top of, you know, watching WWE like for I guess I'm the only one who did the homework and watched everything because I'm completely caught up right now for the first time and I can't think of when. So, wow. Yeah, so I'm going to be asking you a lot of questions. That's actually, okay. actually, I do have something that I watched a clip of and I have I want you guys to explain to me. What the hell is going on on Monday nights a little bit? Okay. Um, oh, boy. It's something I was mad at when they first came out, and I'm mad again. But we'll get to the anger in a little bit. You know, the mayhem comes with a little anger. And we do not have Mad Mike. How do we not have Mad Mike, and I'm the angriest at wrestling that I've been in a while? But anyways, there's still a lot of good going on around a lot of stuff, and I'm hoping we do get on the positive as well. But anyways, this is the Wrestling Mayhem Show. Please go check out everything at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. You can hit us up at that email address. Good times. Good times at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. We are uh, doing that alone. We are. We are. George, what the heck? Oh. I also realize our guest does not have headphones to hear the Ritz. Uh, yeah. But we can do that uh, uh, maybe in a little bit here. Uh, but anyways, um, actually, there's a plug there. If you have headphones handy or if you can find some laying around, there should be a plug on the floor for you. 
uh, or the black bag at the end of the whatever. It was wrestling mayhem show uh, dot com. It says wrestling mayhem show dot com four one two two zero six W M zero black bag at the end of the shelves towards the door uh, under the window. Under the window. Uh, there you go. Direction. Yeah, multitasking. We're live on the internet. We're live, pal. Uh, please, uh, of course, follow us on all the social media. Promo. Wrestling Mayhem Show on Facebook, uh, over on Twitter at Mayhem Show, and of course the YouTube channel if you like a nice place for all the video parts. Um, but uh, of course, we're live here every Tuesday at 9 p.m. Eastern Time across all of those. Please check in on those wherever you might be watching us, especially if you're on Facebook or Twitter. Uh, give a like, give a follow, give a share, give a watch party. If you're hanging out with us right now, I want to see a bunch of hearts with you out there in uh, the U the Facebook land, uh, especially if you like liked, uh, Riz's uh, weird point <coughs> pause thing that was going on earlier give him some love for that or or or, or crying i use a crying face if that's what what, yeah. it, what it evoked for you i guess uh, you can go on Twitch i give right it now i give it three crying me, jordans right. Cry, three crying jordans three crying jordans you, like, cry, jordan styles no michael jordan the, the, michael the, the, three the, crying the michael oh, michael Jordan. Jordan. Oh, yes. yeah, yeah. yeah and then uh, and then riz do you also have yeah yeah you i see what you've done or if you're like riz over on our twitch stream it's just all great kali faces there you go. Look you at that. You're still doing for, uh, subscribing to my channel. There you Twitch. go. Riz plays games to get the Kali faces. That's a that's a fantastic upsell right there. That's that's yeah. great. I love that. You're, I, I, you're still I really want to. I honestly really want to get a uh, enough money to have him do a cameo intro for me. Oh, dude. We wait a minute. What, what does it cost for a cameo for the Great Kali? Do we know? Fifty. It's fifty, dude. I'll pay that, yeah. dude. I will. Oh. I. Listen, man. I don't. I don't got a lot going on now, but I will. I am willing to drop fifty <laughs> bucks to get you a cameo from the great Kali. When's your birthday? In Ooh, July. Sword. In July. Happy late birthday, brother. I'm giving you a damn cameo. Anybody wants to pitch in on that with me? But uh, yes. uh, but <laughs> would, it, would Kali be subject to losing his third party rights on cameo? No, he's got no. that legends contract. Forget it. Forget it. Come on. Come on. Uh, anyways, I gotta finish this stuff. Um, yeah, hey, yo, follow, subscribe on the podcast. Please rate and review on the podcast as well. And also, oh, George, George, can I get, can I send you a thing? Can I send you a thing on Facebook? Are you good right now? Because we, yeah. uh, I got, I gotta say, we, we, we're trying to do something different for the Patreon supporters, and we like if our guests would read the uh, shout outs to our Patreon supporters here at the top of the show sure. as soon as my messenger. And I have not been great about giving the heads up to our guests. And that's kind of the fun of it because they have no idea and they have not pre-read these. So I it mean, kind of Lord, first, it's first time you did this, you threw, yes. you threw your phone at a guest. I did throw my phone. Who was that that I did that to? Was it Matt Connard? <laughs> I think it was Matt Connard. Yeah, it was, yeah. It was Connard. The death dealer Connard. almost bit it when I threw my large phone at him. Uh, but uh, anyways, uh, yes, just please, uh, the, the, the groups that they're in and, and the names. You have to read the Twitters or well, anything. Well, should I there? start in ascending order from highest to lowest or go you from lowest to highest? You can do whatever you want. It's your shout-outs. Okay, so uh, from the fan of the show level, thank yous go out to Bo Diggity. Bo woo! Ed Burke, Bobby F. J-Town, and Team Hammerfist. Uh, the $5 Poppy Club level. We have Bradley Ruthers, Dave Podner, and Tina Keys. Uh, at the Pizza Club level, which is ten dollars, we got Doc Remedy and Kyle Turner. And then at the manager level, twenty dollars, Occupy Pro Wrestling, and Farnsworth Investments. There you go. Thank you guys. You guys can support the show too at patreon.com slash wrestling ma'am show and have your name read aloud by a independent professional wrestling star. Or whoever we have as a guest on the show. Yeah, let's say week. let's not get carried away. There you so. go. There you go. <laughs> hey, hey, you're on a show. You're in independent pro wrestling. You know what? Hey, you, you, you know the 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 lowest. Who's the who's the lowest person you can think of on the WWE roster? Who's the lowest person? Lowest lowest set person on the WWE mm. roster. Give me one right now. Give me right now. Oh, geez. come on. Right now. Crazy name. Let never wins matches right now. Lindsay Dorado. Lindsay Dorado. Yeah. Rizzy got one. Rizzy got one. No, I was gonna say Lindsay Dorado. Lindsay, wait, was everybody gonna say Lindsay Dorado? That's you know what? Still a superstar. Still a He's WWE still superstar. Making money. He's still making that that superstar money to buy all the fancy masks he wants to, and and it's great. 
right? So you're you're an independent well, wrestling superstar. Congratulations, George. Oh God. <laughs> When's a, there you go. You got a thumbs up from Bro. Bro Heem is hanging out here in the studio. I don't have another microphone set up, so he just uh, no surprise guest I got. He just he just yelling in the background. Uh, so <laughs> Uh, but anyways, uh, hey, we should talk about some stuff that's going on right now. Uh, so, uh, I, I, I got, okay, at top of the show, I got to, because it, it sounds like, yes, that's where we're at right now. Um, I've been, un, I've been unhappy with this retribution situation from the beginning, mostly because of social implications of what they seem to be trying to portray. Uh, and I got really mad on a Monday night one time. Um, <laughs> so you can go back in the archives and find that. One time, has it been more than once? I've been really angry. I've been really angry about it. Um, but then I saw what they did. Now, I didn't even catch that they changed everybody's name. Is that correct? Uh, uh, what? Did they? Okay. George, yep. Riz, whichever one of you watched this in its entirety last night, can you explain what happened with the retribution for others like me that didn't have time for Raw last night? Either of you. <sighs> The, uh, the sigh is a nice indication over there, whereas it. Oh. Why? Like, I, I'm, I'm, I, like, I, <laughs> come on, give it to me, Riz. Is, give it to me. Why put Mia Yim, mm -hmm. an athlete, mm -hmm. Dominic Dijakovic or Dijak or what's his name now? T something T. I don't know. Oh, I don't know. I, I I haven't gotten the name. That was yet. Uh, okay. So during the main event last night, he was referred to as T Bar and T Bar. Jerry, and Jerry Lawler popped me when he said that T Bar stood for this boy ain't right. What? Okay. Also, Jerry Lawler was on last Jerry night. Jerry Lawler was the yeah. He was the in the heel uh, role on commentary and. Uh, uh, he busted he, out of this. He had to promote. He had to promote uh, battlegrounds because Morrow's gone. Mm, yeah, I was really, I was really sad about Waller being yeah. a part of that one. But yeah, but anyways, you were saying. So he was, so his T bar T bone. I it was he was referred to as T bar. Okay. Uh, I. What are the other names? Do, do we have? Slapjack. Slapjack is Slapjack. one of them. Bro mm -hmm. says off the camera. Uh, it, it, it what. I, who's what's me on Yim now, and what's uh, Mercedes Martinez? The uh, nameless as of now, I suppose. Like what? I, I don't know. Have so you... so basically, they took aces and eights and just hit fast forward. Like they cut out yeah, all the. Much. Yeah, it yeah. seemed like a jump. Um, they have contracts. I listened to their promo, which sounds like it was the worst written trash I've heard in a while from a WWE promo. Or for WWE. It was. <laughs> So bad. Yeah, whores for WWE money, brass rings, all that crap. And it's like... It's a shoot, brother, brother. It's yep. so bad. Everything looks They're bad. They're wasting so much potential. Why are the masks happening? I... There's no... I can't... I... Listen, man. When I see something, you Riz, what is my usual thing when somebody's every everybody's lambasting something WWE did on the show? What's my usual position? You're usually really good. Okay. You're usually like a, a, above the bar. You're usually not above the T bar. Eh, yeah, oh, above the T bar. Oh, do I? We have one of these. One of these above the bar. There you go. Yeah. Just write that in the show title. Okay. Um, but you're usually the one who talks everybody off the ground. You're the person that off the off you the edge. Off the ledge. That's what I meant. <laughs> off the ledge. My brain is all over the place now because I play Battlegrounds. Uh, but mm -hmm. there's what, like, if you told me uh, uh, Mia Yim or Dijak or, uh, damn, the other one's yeah. mistaken, Mercedes, if you're telling me, if you t tell me they were coming in together, I'd be okay with that. Mm-hmm. I am not okay with them being tagged with this type of angle. It's rough. It's it's rough. It's I don't see good. much future in this. It looks like the stupidest thing. Why is everybody wearing Bane masks? Is this a play? Because, I mean, the initial thing was about, like, it looked like everybody was trying to be, like, I'll say it, it looked like they they were trying to be uh, uh, BLM uh, looting thugs. That's what it fucking looked like, right? Yeah. 
and that fucking mm-hmm. pissed me off because they're they're trying to do this on the show, and <coughs> and now they look like, like are we Bane things? What's with the horrible uh, 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 makeup? Is this like a mask thing? You know, to lampoon what's going on with that? Uh, you know, again, a little bit I'm seeing. It just looks. It's just so. It's and we're giving time to this, and it's like where wh- why why it hurts it hurts but and this is why fuck you wwe i'm watching aew whenever i want whenever it's on because this isn't happening there you know what i mean it, it, mm. it, it, it just uh, yeah yeah i mean this is the biggest thing for like you're making the right decisions watching being the lead on mondays instead of raw <coughs> yeah <laughs> so well, to me, there's a reason why it drops. Yeah, I mean, it's fucking stupid, but it's my kind of stupid. Okay. I don't know, like to me, there's like a whole bunch of different influences going on here, and it's all like based oh, yeah. around like the what was popular ten years ago. Okay, who's ever seen the movie Doomsday? <laughs> With um, oh my goodness, I forget what her name is right now. But, um, Doomsday. It's a yeah, it's a dy- it's a, like an English, it's like a Scottish dystopian. Is this a, a Vince finally watched Doomsday or something or? Uh... Um, it's not even that good of a movie. Like Malcolm McDowell's in it randomly, and like it, it's very weirdly paced. But they look like hey, mo- that's not the reason. It's a bad movie. I I know. Come on, Malcolm no, McDowell. No, 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 it's the script. The script is terrible. I'm watching the trailer now. Oh, yeah. oh, let's like, see what this is about. The script's terrible? That sounds familiar. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's, yeah, so, that's every Monday night, pal. <laughs> so there's that. I, I get a bit of bo- I get some Borderlands vibes from it. Oh, no. Yeah. And then I also get, I mean, Fight Club. I feel like somebody watched a lot of Fight Club and probably smoked a lot of weed while doing so, <laughs> while writing some of this stuff. Cause they, Again, it's like, so they, yeah. they, they took, like, the look of the terror group and oh, kept the terror group it. idea. Yeah. And then what they did is they they also kept, took the Fight Club portion of it, and they're just like, it's just, you know, it's the whole hey, thing. Hey, well, you know what? If 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 McDowell was actually a part of this storyline in WWE, I'd buy it a little bit more, mm-hmm. <laughs> to be quite honest, like, in this representation I'm seeing in the trailer. The I mean, thing it, I, the, the thing that reminded me of a lot, of a lot, and... I go back to this like even more because they're doing underground, they're doing everything else with that. This has very strong, like poorly written mm-hmm. Chikara vibes. It does a little bit. Okay. Uh, by the way, uh, my favorite comment watching this trailer for Doomsday to give you an idea about it: Coronavirus got its own movie before it was made. <laughs> right, I love that. Right there, you are. I didn't forgot about the virus part actually until right now. <laughs> Look at that. And everybody's wearing masks. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. In two thousand eight. Wait, what? Wait, in two thousand eight? This I'm came sorry. out in two thousand eight. I don't know. Yeah. It's just like, oh, really? And it, it was did, like, yeah. is that the year it's supposed to be- take place? Or yeah, it's talking about quarantines and all it this stuff. It takes place too. like ten years. Oh man, it takes place around now actually. So we're talking like. <laughs> 2009 because oh. oh, no. the movie takes well the movie takes place like i think like maybe 10 10 years or so after, after the then, after yeah. like outbreak day or oh, whatever no. and they recreate the concept of hadrian's wall where there's a like they they actually build a wall like they rebuild a wall across uh at the very uh portion where emperor hadrian in rome had in england separating you know the roman the roman occupied portion from the non you know the 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 still like the celtic portion so wow wow i love like the wrestling show has turned into this movie night like a movie like bad movie night that i want to find on netflix if you're in the chat room on facebook i just dropped the trailer in over there so, uh, uh, by the way, bro, uh, if you look in that same bag, I bet you can find a microphone. We'll pull, uh, I can't pull you in until the second half, but it, you, you're, you're having a whole conversation over there and nobody can hear you. Uh, but so we'll get to it. But yeah, I can't bring you in until, until the, the, the half, unfortunately, but, uh, uh, uh but, uh, we, so we're gonna have a slide and we're gonna have an audio slide in of bro Hemoth, uh, in the, the answer, our questions and our, and our, do our homework with us. Uh, so yeah, we're bringing in on the, on the educational part of the show. So I don't even care what Mike that is. Uh, <laughs> hey, Ford, you know so. how bad it is for you? Hmm. For me? For you. What do you mean for me? Like in general? Like right now? Like like in worldview or we, we had this we had this conversation last or this past weekend mm-hmm. uh where you were busy. Yes. 
And the first thing you mentioned was, is there, I mean, no, the first thing you mentioned was to start the stream for the pay-per-view. And somebody had to tell you, there was no pay-per-view this time. This pay oh, God. Oh, no. Don't do that to me. No. you. Oh, no. Yes. I'm driving back. I'm trying to make it back. And I'm like, hey, guys, can you start the chat for me? Because I'm not making it back before Clash of Champions. Class of Champions that the hell out of us. is the next. And I got the entire Slack telling me the paper, there's no pay-per-view tonight. And I was like, what the hell am I rushing home for from Chicago? And why is it on my calendar? <laughs> what the hell is happening? Because <laughs> so. you, conf you, you concern me thinking I was not sure myself. <laughs> but then I was like, no, wait, it was, it was next week. Yeah, yeah, thank you guys for And even I got like a calendar reminder at the time that I showed them because <laughs> how screwed up I am. Mm, not good. Not doing right. All right. It's all, right. all right, other than my own problems. We'll, we'll get through this. this uh, and everything. So let's see. It still feels like an old white guy's feeling of uh, the protesters from the summer. Yes, and that's what I feel. Yeah, it is. It, is. it is. It does feel like Because it is. Like it, it, yeah, because it is. Yeah. Because yeah. look who's running professional wrestling, right? Or the, 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 the WWE right now. You know, I was so I, I was amazed. Um, somebody followed or was suggested on one of the um, one of the wrestling Twitter accounts that we the, we help with one of the promotions. And it was, uh, I think it was like night wrestling. And I was so happy to see female owned wrestling promotion. And yes. I, and it was shocking realizing how that isn't a thing. You know what I mean? Like, like that we need more of that. We, we, we need more of that. I, I work for, I've, I've worked for a few women. Have you? Yeah. Okay. At least a few. Yeah. Well, you, okay. It's not around here. <laughs> Probably, not, but not, yeah, not around here. But yeah, no, no. no. So really, what? Look, we're, we're, we're so you're you're getting out there, George. Yeah. You're you're well traveled. Nah, not that well. You're come on, man. What? Better than some people. Come on. Okay, let's well, be honest. Whatever. George gets out. You're there. traveled. Don't 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 make me you make don't have me make you run the numbers again oh. <laughs> about how many shows and how many states you did in your first year. We're good. Yeah. <laughs> we don't need to do that. You can check that on uh, Rigatoni with Refs over in the Indie Wrestling Network because I think you do that there very well. Probably. Yes. But, but no, so how many, like, tell me what the landscape is. What is it like outside Pittsburgh? What is this promised land that's elsewhere? Uh, promised land? <laughs> <laughs> What's Indiana like? What is Indiana I've like? Never been to Indiana. Everybody's I've been to going. Indiana. What is the sa What is the savior of independent professional wrestling, Indiana like? I I don't know. I've never been to Indiana. Wow, really? Yeah. I think it's inevitable at this point. I mean, yeah. at some point probably. But so, but uh, uh, but no, no, that's good to see. That's good to see. It needs to happen. So, um, uh, uh, anything else from this week? I really enjoyed AEW, of course, with the. Uh, the uh, backlot brawl that they had. It got somebody told me that that backlot brawl got five stars from Dave Meltzer. Really? It happened at Tokyo Dome. Really? It, don't, it didn't have at the Tokyo Dome. <laughs> there's no parking. I was gonna say there's no parking lot at the, at the Tokyo Dome. Maybe I just. <laughs> um, but no, it was a it was a ton of fun, and, and it's kind of like why we watch there. Um, also, fan assaults Dina uh, uh, Dina Ambrose. No, that's not his name now. John Moxley. Um, I just noticed that from Bacha Media. <laughs> um, I don't know if that was from this past week or not, but uh, uh, yeah, there was a fan coming at him. Was it from like two weeks ago? That was yeah, it was from the pay per view. Yeah, it was on the pay per view. Okay. It was on Dynamite. Yeah, yeah, it was on Dynamite like last week. Was it? Yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah. Right Everybody said for a tag team thing. It might be. That makes sense. That makes sense. If it was from like last week or something. But um, listen, we have, listen, not many fans, but we found the crazy ones. That's good. <laughs> I love he's on a play show on a podcast. He's like, I'm glad they stopped that guy because I don't want to hug anybody with coronavirus. <laughs> <laughs> so. and, the, and the best thing is I, I, was, I was reading up on it. The guy who tackled him. Mm-hmm. Not security. Not security. It's a fan. It was another fan. <laughs> and he saw he saw the guy come up and he started looking at him. He started walking towards him, and then he just tackled him. 
fuck you. He saw a look in his eye and said, no. Maybe because no. they don't want to be, they don't want to have that WCW uh, reputation. Or at least might have a guy who's had maybe one too many and he would mm. try to storm the ring before, like, say, Mark Curtis or Randy Savage or whoever the heck was in yeah. the ring would just yeah. beat that Raven. snot out of him. That may be it. I'm, like, I'm saving you for yourself. Hey, remember the one fan at the Hall of Fame? Remember the one fan at Hall of Fame that, that got... <laughs> His freaking teeth knocked out. Like Dash Wilder. Dash Wilder, man. He's got him. I mean, if you guys don't remember, as they're, as as so he rushes the ring at the Hall of Fame. They're pulling him away, and Dash Wilder's got his. I think he's got him in a headlock. Like under, he, he, so he's he's got his head like right under his arm, and he just gives a couple good, just extra lobs just because it seems he just like he gave him his receipt right into the middle of the face. Which is just a a, and I think they got a raise afterwards. Uh, so, because <laughs> uh, you do not, no matter what you think of him, you do not fuck with Bret Hart during his Hall of Fame speech. No. Okay, you do not do that. But oh, geez. anybody for and, that matter. I, like. Yeah, yeah. I'm like that is the I, that is the that was the most most pro wrestling brotherhood mafia moment that we've seen publicly for sure. Mm. For like, sure. If that would have happened to. Beefcake, I would still feel pissed off and feel yeah, great that it, somebody beat him up, even though I'm not a big Beefcake guy. Should he be a Hall of Famer? What, Beefcake? No. Beefcake? Longevity alone. Mm, yeah, I, I think it's from that area. He is a part of that era. Oh, there's a whole other conversation. He is from a part of that era that made wrestling what it is. He it was, was a part Re of that. I mean, come on, WrestleMania two. The, yeah, the Dream Team and the Bulldogs. Yes, was one of the biggest moments Absolutely. in WrestleMania history. Absolutely, Absolutely, I think that guy deserves it for that. You know. By the way, uh, it's a little side note. Uh, Hank's uh, Facebook stuff. Hank Hudson. I think. Yeah, I think I've seen three or four uh, posts that featured Brutus Beefcake uh, and. Greg Valentine in some sort of barbed wire match. Huh? Mm? Yeah. Mm? What well, for what? I don't know. It's some indie fed. Some indie fed did a barbed wire match with those guys. Was it CWA? I could, it, it, it's C, I CWA? Is, is that I don't CWA? know. It, Pro it's it's probably. I want to say Hank goes the, like I want to say Hank goes there a decent amount, or he did at least. Mm -hmm. at least yeah, this was did. like some time ago. So. Wow, that's that's wild. Uh, if you don't already, and I'll, I will just throw the shout. Uh, uh, follow Hank Hudson. Hank, oh no, Henry right. Klimkowski. Thank everybody. you. He's on Facebook. He is uh, the preeminent legendary uh, ring announcer. He is the one that gave Cactus Jack his hometown. Uh, to which oh. Mick Foley actually talked about. Uh, huh. I think he was in the audience maybe last. Oh, there's all my messages for George. Uh, and uh, uh, he does these uh, ex uh, exactly 24 years ago today, September 22nd, 1996, Pittsburgh, PA, uh, did, 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 did complete results that involved matches including one dance and Stevie Richards uh, and Sullivan Hall, St. Mary's of the Mount Parish. Jeez, there's, the, the, there's these uh, uh, cards. Here's some old live kind of the old posters he is like the greatest like like area historian with this stuff and it's just fantastic to follow and and see some of the people that have been through here there's a wrestling town and he's got about all of it so um no just give him a shout there if i do half as much as hank i'll, I'll call it a success we got a question yeah. we got a question for george is george on the collective no uh, Twitter, uh, please, please text, uh, please tweet everybody on the collective and say book George. No, no. Right. hashtag book George. No. <laughs> what are you? <laughs> Come on. You just don't want to go to collective, it would, be, or? it would be cool, but I don't. You know, like I'm pretty sure they all got their guys. They got their guys, I mean, but why uh, wouldn't they? George, you need to be there. It's WrestleMania. It's 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 your rest. It's the WrestleMania weekend of independent wrestling. We'll get there. Just give it time, sort. I mean. Is uh, Effie's uh, big game? Is it still a brunch? Yep, still a brunch. Yeah, we'll get you on there. You got you got Calvin and Tyler on there. Maybe they can hook you up. They're good with the Effie. I don't think they're on there yet. They're not on there I yet. I don't think they've been mentioned. They were they on the original one, and so I was hoping they'd be booked on the new one. So we'll get there. But maybe not yet. Maybe not now, but someday. I'm, I am happy that we got the 
runway um, Effie connection in Pittsburgh mm-hmm. for the first run of it. So that that's exciting. Um, speaking of which, also exciting stuff. Let's give a shout out, and then we'll we'll talk a little bit of what else is going on here uh, at IndieWrestling.us. We got the great stuff going over on Indie Wrestling Network, of course. Uh, we have a lot of videos going up. Of course, uh, uh, VOW Vicious Outcast Wrestling is a part of the collection on the VOD and on the network over there. Uh, you can go check that out. Also, just dropped uh, this past, uh, actually Monday night we dropped it, the uh, uh, my day with the uh, Pro-Am Cult, because we've modified that a little bit. Uh, it'd be a little more PC. Uh, but uh, uh, go check that out. A little bit of a documentary uh, put together, some behind the scenes from the Poly Cult Party 2. Um, a lot of fun out there with those guys and girls and 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 such. Um, but no, we got a nice uh, six minute documentary, a little bit behind the scenes uh, footage and interviews uh, with a lot of crews, some familiar faces to you guys, some new faces probably to a lot of you guys, and hoping that helps introduce you to a lot with that. And of course, the main show, uh, not a production of Indie Wrestling US, but is still available over on I believe the Twitch channel. Um, for uh, the uh, Go Professional Wrestling guys out there. Uh, great crew did a, did a fantastic job with that show, um, putting it out there too. So giving a shout out to that. Uh, but no, go check it out. Um, looking at all different aspects of uh, that as well. Also featured over there, our friend Matt Light joined us last week. And you guys may have heard about the rise and fall of Blackcraft Wrestling that's been going around on YouTube. Um, so we got him on, and we did about the same length of a talk <laughs> talking about his side of Blackcraft Wrestling because he's very involved in the creative side of it. And um, he's very frank about whose fault he thinks things are <laughs> from time <laughs> to time. So if you're interested in that version of the story and also um, our, our uh, old Shawn Michaels stand-up from the studio is featured prominently uh, in the video version of that. So give a shout-out to that. It's the latest Indie Mayhem show. Please subscribe to that uh, too uh, over there. Uh, so, uh, indie wrestling.us, which of course the Riz is, uh, prominently featuring in his background as he normally does. Uh, it looks like you're watching some old, uh, RWA. Is that, was the no Memfo, Memphis Mofo, Memfo Mofo. And who, who's, who's is that, that in the, the ring? The weapons match? Is that the time he pile drived somebody's mom or is, is that somebody else? No, he pile drove, uh, Jesse Smothers, right? Jesse Bell Smothers. Am I thinking that don't, right? Don't. 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 I still have nightmares. Don't you just like like mom's getting power driven all the time? First time at that place. I'm just like my mom's going to get power driven. I can't come back to this place. It's like Madrid, your mom's not coming. She's not going to come to a wrestling show. My mom's not coming to the wrestling show either. I don't know what you're mad about. I don't know what you're mad about at all. But uh, you can see that. Because nobody told me that was happening, Sword. I didn't know what's happening. You're not supposed to know what's happening. It's a surprise. Maybe to her too. I don't know. Mom, probably not. Mom, probably... can you take a pile driver? Well, back when I was young, Sonny. Well, um... you're doing it. May Young would do it. Not the one. Yeah, not right. The one you think, but... What? What? What are we talking about? Like, what are we? May Young about? would do it. May Young would. May do Young would totally get a pile driver. George, what have you been doing lately? Lately? <laughs> <laughs> I mean. How's we'll your day around. going so working, far, I'm working from home, man. You're working from home? Yeah. Wait, you're refereeing from home? How no. hard is that? No, I'm doing my regular, my shoot job from home. And, okay. You know, still, okay. still traveling okay. on the weekends. But um, like last weekend, we did uh, Imagine Wrestling out in Altoona. Yeah, I uh, saw the main event showed up up there. Yeah, no, Bill Collier and uh, Bill Collier and Spencer Slade finished out their trilogy. Oh, yeah. I saw the, the, um, I saw the between match of that. I saw the, the, the second of that. So. Yeah, um, it was uh, it was interrupted by uh, the gavel David Lawless. Of course. Um, and unfortunately, the match had to be thrown out because uh, there was some other interference uh, by Chris Coleman. So, I'm not familiar with uh, one Chris Coleman. Uh, he appears to be Lawless's new uh, muscle of the law, or however Lawless is. Oh, really? Him. Yeah. So uh, Lawless has some <laughs> muscle now. Lawler ha- Lawless has like 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 muscle in every town. At some point, as you say, flex on that gavel. <laughs> uh, uh, but uh, no, yeah, no, I went there. It was, it was a fun show um, uh, up there. Um, and uh, and that that's, they, they got a good thing going on up there, I imagine. Like, how, how Tuna became a hotbed of wrestling. Maybe it's just the time because they're the only people running right now. 
but uh, but but between them and Eclipse, there's a lot of good happening in that town, and a lot of people that we're familiar with happening over there. Oh, the, so. the main event also uh, returned and uh, yes. won the tag titles uh, from the Malachi Gage and John Ross of the neighborhood. Oh, good. Yes. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> yeah, it had a very like gangsters feel to it in the sense where like their music didn't even stop playing. They they, <laughs> they came out, they hit the flea flicker, and they they won so the, the belts, entire man. thing is like yo yodi, yeah. yodi or however that goes. It's yeah, been no. a while. It's been a while since I've been at a main event. Yeah, but match. no. Um, as soon as they came out, the fans freaking exploded. That's great. Um, it was a really cool moment. That's great. How are you really doing cool with the moment. outdoor shows? Because they they've been very strange. Like everyone's been strange in their own way. Including, I, I think I talked about last week on the Monday show, Luff's getting downpoured on in the middle of a Joey Janela attack uh, going I mean, on. I did one with no ropes anywhere. <laughs> Wait, on purpose? Or that's the other thing, on purpose? <laughs> um, it was decided eventually that it would be on purpose. Oh, geez. But it's because, you know, the, the ring ring subs didn't quite work out. Mm. So, yeah, but no, we did, uh, we dubbed that uh, TKW Underground. <laughs> Damn it! All yeah. the underground. Well, it fe- that that night featured a barbed wire match between uh-huh. Chuck Stein and Drexel. Okay. Also, f- intergender fans bring the weapons. Uh, Peter B. Beautiful versus Mickey Knuckles. Okay, um, I remember a, uh, a Mickey Knuckles intergender. Uh, I think it might have been also fans bring the weapon. This must be one of our specialties yeah, uh, um, at RWA. That was wild. The the Capital Vices against uh, Jack Price and Tommy Vendetta, the Death Threat Army. Okay. Uh, which was great, pretty cool. yeah. great names. I don't know these guys. Oh, no, um, the ga- the Death Threat Army guys are they're, they're good. Okay, L- look them up. Sort okay, of, seriously. Um, this is your discovery portion of the show, guys. By the way, you better be going. <laughs> if I, I guess the go. promised land you're talking about is Michigan. <laughs> <I guess>. uh, <laughs> <laughs> the promised but, land, aka Michigan. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but a horror slam still happening as well. So mm-hmm. I've done a few shows for them since this all started. Good. Since the Staple Show that we talked about. A since while back. the Staple Show. Yeah, the Staples for Charity Show. Yeah. yeah this is this was the I've done probably another two or three up there since two another two up there since. Staples for charity. I can't get over that. <laughs> <laughs> Staples for Charity Show. Uh, I'm glad you're doing it for a good cause, sir. So. Um, let's see. Is there any other wrestling I missed while I was busy um, on the road here? I mean, I, I mean, IWC came back. They mm-hmm. ran on. They ran uh, the Brownsville Drive-In again. Um, to follow up on the momentum from Super Indy. Yep. Um, I was up at Warriors, of course, and there was a lot of cool stuff there. War Horse against Brian Pillman. Oh. That was. By the way, it was about 50 degrees when that the game that one was happening, and you saw the steam rolling off of them, and they oh. just had a banger match. Going on, it was good to see uh, Jonathan Gresham and Alex Shelley. Oh. Yeah, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I, it, like, dude, it, it's I forgot how great it was, and, and thank you, Jonathan Gresham, because I, I mentioned like it's been so long since I've done a Jonathan Gresham match, and I forgot how great it was to produce one of those. And uh, it's just guys, just they're on the ground and they're going to do cool stuff. Just keep them in the shot he's we just, pro- we're he's just gonna hang out and watch he's probably the best matt wrestler there is right now oh jeez! and i see something new every damn time it's ridiculous it's absolutely crazy uh but i mean man. that o- that opening series you have a jay lethal and ring of honor yes always yes really it's, it's, well. it's stuff with jackson argos was some of my favorite stuff from the company at the time like still um you know and his is his 40 minute <laughs> match against uh, uh, a guy who not shall be, shall not be named the super indie was was just fantastic um <laughs> but uh, i don't know which one right uh but uh but no some really good stuff happening out there looking for um, um uh weekend three of that series uh, that'll be on fight tv you can check out everything on fight uh there were there were some technical hiccups but uh, that should be up by now uh with the fix hey, there. yes yes hey, sir yes how Riz. your how was your uh experience with dan the dad Dan the dad? <laughs> um, well, I, I don't know. He was in a six-way match this time with Beastman and Facade and Danny Moe and uh, uh, a couple other guys. Uh, so it wasn't as it wasn't as um, um, wasn't as much as the week before that we talked about. I think Riz. So no, it was it was more of a bit part this time. So <laughs> um, also saw uh, Lee Moriarty Trey, Trey Lamar again. I think that's part of their Ooh. trilogy, their recent trilogy over the last couple of weeks too. So, um, but uh, no, really good stuff happening on there, and just a great, great positive crew. 
that like it's almost disarming. You're just like, wait a minute, why is everybody? Everybody's got is is putting on like one of the biggest shows, you know, anybody's putting on right now, with all that that talent from uh, uh, you know AEW and, and Impact, and everybody's just like so chill, <laughs> and it's it's really cool. Um, good vibes up there. So, um, well, I guess with that, I want to we're going to give a shout out to some friends here, and we're going to get into our big question. And we some have we still have our educational points points. And uh, we'll cut this short so we can get uh, Brohemoth on here uh, so uh, and get his mic working uh, so we can do that. Uh, but then we'll go to a break a moment so we can set that up. But in the meantime, I want to give a shout-out to our good friends. Hey, we got to hang it out over there. Bro's been, bro's been hovering over it. I don't know if he's <coughs> been partaking a little bit. Oh, he walked away. Where you at, man? Oh. <laughs> he, just, he just walked away. He just says, I'm out. Are we looking for a new chair? He's, like, rearranging. He just, like, oh, have fun with that one. Uh, but I have no lights on him. We'll, we'll see if we can rearrange a camera or something, I guess. Uh, but, uh, hey, shout out to Slice on Broadway, Beachview, Carnegie, East End, here in the Pittsburgh area. Sorry, Tina. Uh, but uh, give them a shout. And, of course, if you guys are in the area, I know the Riz has been partaking a good bit here. So, uh, uh, Riz, have you been any good experience? I know you. You the, the, they've been really taking care of you out there, haven't they? They have. And then... And- like whenever I get there, there's already ready for. Like you just go on Grubhub, mm-hmm. or Grubhub, yeah, Grubhub. Go on Grubhub, order, pick it up. It's it's quick, it's easy, and it's great food. Mm-hmm. Sort. Mm-hmm. Good. Like Good no stuff. matter where no matter where you go, whether it's uh, whether it's up near you, up near me, <laughs> wherever the hell they're gonna have it up next. In our undisclosed <laughs> locations. Yeah. It, it just, it's really good pizza, mm-hmm. and everybody should have one. Everyone, everybody should have a, at least a slice. Everybody, everybody should have at least a slice. On slice Broadway. for all. Hashtag slice for all. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, thank you so much for those guys for supporting the show and doing it for so very long here on the wrestling show and being our guests that do drop in sometimes unexpectedly uh here but uh uh, thank you so much hey you guys are going to hear a couple of quick messages here for the next minute and then we'll be right back with the big question sidekick media services we are your sidekick in business for social media video production and more find out more at sidekickmediaservices.com and now a public service announcement from benjamin c Steele talking to you about wearing a mask not this one but this one With everything going on right now with this pandemic, you need to wear a mask. My mask is for your safety. Your mask is for mine. Now, I don't care what your uncle's, brother's, best friend's, mailman's, roommate from college put on social media. Chances are they didn't think it through, and there's a very better than average chance that they're an idiot. So when you go outside, you put on your little mask over your face, put the little straps around your ears, and we're all going to be a lot safer. This is a team effort. And if we're being completely honest, some of you need not only this mask, but this mask too. wrestling mayhem show we are back here we have rearranged and we got a bro incoming hello bro up, he's, he's up, munching he's munching we uh they're they, they're like they're taking care of they're, they're continuing that i love you put the logo upside down on that thing <laughs> so, it's okay no 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 i mean you know, on your mic you, the flag's upside down oh. but you can read it that's what's important uh, so <laughs> uh thank you so much uh bro hemoth how you doing bro oh i'm good i'm good Hanging in there. So I apologize. I, did, I didn't know you were coming, so I didn't have oh, an extra mic. That was it, kind of a surprise, too. You're, you're just, you're sur- it was a surprise to yourself as well. Yep. <laughs> so, <laughs> awesome, awesome. Well, you're just in time. We got you hooked up just in time for the big question. We'll educate you on the match for this week. 
Well, yeah, I didn't it's gonna be a lot that. of don'ts. I it's gonna be a lot of don'ts. I'm gonna warn you I, right I now. I don't. I don't follow. It was not. Teachers. It was not. It was not uh, Booker T's wet best. So, uh, mm. George, I think you watched it too. So we'll get into it. It's only the second time I've ever actually viewed that particular match. Yeah, you don't need to more than mm-hmm. once, actually. Is it as bad as his WrestleMania match with Triple H? Oh no! I, uh, oh. As bad? Was it? Re- was that really a bad Wait, match? Triple I H mean, kind of like buried him real quick. It was out. not. Yeah, a gr- that I mean, was oh, bad. Yeah, okay. I mean, it's not a great match for other reasons, but really, yeah. Oh, no, there's a lot of really bad overtones with that match. <laughs> and it was a whole other problematic situation. Yeah. Yeah. Wasn't there like a you people uh, 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 yep. comment during some of those yep. promos? Yep. Or pe- no, people like you, it said. Yeah. It was just like, oh, what are we doing right now? Yeah. Conspiracy theory. WWE writing is secretly woke, and Triple H was meant to embody white privilege going as far back as 2002. What? No. <laughs> Don't okay. Give that kind of credit. Probably okay. Not. Hot Don't. takes. Hot, hot, cold takes. Probably not. I guess. No. <laughs> we could. No. Yeah. We're not. We're not. We can't be that lucky, right? So. No. Uh, but anyways, it is time for the big question, and I kind of have expressed how uh, not ha- crazy I am about the recent uh, retribution situation. So. I'm Riz. I'm going to try to be positive, as uh, you be have. Positive, sorry. Yeah, as you have Mambo Italiano hanging out on the screen behind you. Uh, Mambo. But, uh, Mambo. Uh, but anyways, uh, so let's see if I can phrase this right. What is um, a debut, a gimmick that you maybe have had a little bit of like this is going to be fucking stupid. This is going to like no way this is going to work. But they have changed your mind over the course of weeks, months, whatever it is, and that that becomes something um, a little more worthwhile as you go. Is is there something that you thought was just going to be a gobbledygooker and turned into the shield, for instance? Anything that comes to mind? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. The first thing that pops into my mind is uh, our good friend Elias. Oh, oh! You were not sold on the early Elias. I was not. Okay. I think it was, I thought it was a weird uh, gimmick to have on somebody mm. to have him be like, "Oh, we just come out with and, a guitar player and, and you just had, get beat up." And he's a guy that you saw develop into heavy metal Jesus and everything like, I over did. the years. So the, 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 you're probably colored a little bit with that, right? Yeah, and I'm, I'm coming in with that, but the the folksy like soloist gimmick of heel guitarist Mm -hmm. was one of the weirder gimmicks I didn't think was going to succeed. Grumpy lead singer. Yes, the grumpy lead singer. Thank you, bro. But It's kind of relatable, though. A lot of bands have that problem. Mm -hmm. Like Paramore. (laughs) Oh, yes, that one? (laughs) I'm not familiar with Paramore's issues. I hear the lead singer, she she has caused quite a ruckus with the band when she doesn't get her way. Oh, no. Oh, no. CFO dollar sign. What? CFO dollar sign. Oh, (laughs) yeah. Their departure. Um, But, yeah, like, but he made it work Mm. perfectly, even though he hasn't been on TV in quite some time. Mm-hmm. But he made that that thing work, whether it was a heel or a face. Mm-hmm. Whether he's a good guy or a bad guy. Especially when he's a bad guy when in uh, Seattle. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Seattle fucking hated him. Mm-hmm. Uh, that, was, yeah, that was him and Kevin Owens that did that, right? Like, that was mm-hmm. kind of a twofer situation? You guys are but that was, all, that was all Elias, though. That was all, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So but yeah, Elias made that work for me. Mm-hmm. Cool, cool. Uh, George, bro, you have one? Either of you? I have one. Okay, go ahead. Uh, how about the Miz Taraj? Ooh, yeah. That was him. I just Bo thought, yeah. Dallas and, and Curtis, uh, Axel. Curtis Axel. Yeah, it looked like Curtis Axel and Bo Dallas had nothing better to do, so they just put them with Miz after they were tagging together after the what the Macho Man Hulk Hogan uh, impersonations died out. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I, you know, I, I, I didn't, I didn't know what to think about it at first, but eventually I, I grew to really like. I it's probably just because I've grown to like love Miz as a heel so much. Mm-hmm, quite honestly, mm-hmm. it was a lot to work with. And oh, yeah. it, it showed like those guys could do because I, I think that also came about because it was after both of those were on the latest Marine movie with him, 
And if you mm-hmm. watch that movie, like you see, all, it's everybody did pretty good on that movie. For being that kind of movie, you know, I, yeah. I saw the first one and was like, I'm not going to watch the other 12. Wait, wait, wait. The first yeah. the first Ms. Marine or the first John Cena Marine? First Marine. The Marine. Was yeah. It was John so Cena. One, was like, oh, yeah. Um, no. Yeah, yeah, no. They don't get, like, they don't get better than that. I want to make that very clear. Like, that's the peak. Okay. Is it worse than Cena Evil? Hey, 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 what? May 19th, motherfucker. May 19th is my daughter's birthday. <laughs> I'm not even going to lie. When when we realized that was the day, I literally started doing that in the hospital. Are you I like, like happy cane day? Like, May like, 19th. She came out and you're like, happy cane day. <laughs> Oh no! I have that. Does she have fire tricks yet, or uh, no. No? no? She's an it's angel. Coming. Thank God. Yeah, it's good. yeah. So far. <laughs> yeah, she's, she's not a teenager yet. Uh-huh. That's when she'll turn into Kane. Uh huh. <laughs> Hopefully, she doesn't get as big as him. Then, then oh, we're start, have we'll have getting a problem. like uh, car batteries. And... <laughs> what do you do? Hey, hey what do you do? When the boy breaks her heart and she wants to go get a car battery and some jumper cables, I'm not stopping her. Be like, oh, okay. Yeah, just go ahead and yeah. do it. I mean, hey, better her than me. Like, <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. Oh boy, there was a. Uh, we have a friend, old friend of the show, that um, um, wanted Kane to be her dad. Yeah. Mm. So. Yeah, yeah. They do each their own. Yeah, it was it was interesting. Um, Daddy Kane. But anyways, uh, uh, where were we at? So you had yours, bro. Did you have one yet? Uh, no. But like, I'm. Um, Gonna follow George, and I'm gonna say the Miz. Just the Miz as a whole. Yeah, cause like what, he, like the whole jumping from a reality TV thing. Oh yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just instantly, t- like I wasn't a fan of him, but then like he got his WWE title run, and I'm not gonna lie, like dude, he 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 went he went off with it. He now, ran with it. They've just never put him back in that spot again ever. Did you? Were you like not entirely? Like, so for me, the moment of selling was that pre-match video package the uh you can hate me now promo they did yes yeah that package like that was just like it was like it embodied everything about them and that was just the there it is kind of thing for me and the they, one on, the one from talking smack no 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 this is this is that wrestlemania main event mm. right before the match him and john cena and what was a Rocky was the referee or something? No, he was the host of WrestleMania. Yeah, because yeah. it set up it yeah. set up the series afterwards, of course. Um, but uh, it, it, it's uh, <laughs> um, but it, it, sorry, they're talking about the Seattle show because Tina's in Seattle. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, but uh, no, no, yeah, no, that that was a real real maker for that. So uh, Tina's in the chat room saying uh, the New Day. Love that the way that they turned it around. And yeah, the New Day was like what the are they doing right they, now yeah they first tried to pitch it as like they were going to be like the new nation domination mm-hmm. then they started doing the unicorn thing mm-hmm. and then they had like that that one that heel turn where like literally the f- same day on the show they laid out like john cena and like four other major people and then like they let him have a heel run and mm-hmm. then that's when i was like i can get behind a new day okay because the unicorns not gonna lie, i was like i'm like i don't get it okay but like when they let them run heel as a group with them as heels, they they really like it. Let their let their goofiness play up yeah, on yeah. top of like the fact that like yeah, we could ruin your day. Yeah, yeah, because I mean they were all like incredibly stupid, talented on top of, and then just acting acting wild. Um, I gotta say, it, 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 and it inspired by some of the ones that you guys said, um, uh, 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 and this was a a you know guys that you know I think we can all continue to say that probably deserves a little better um by the way uh ruth uh, uh mrs potter uh, uh agrees with riz about elias as well mm-hmm. um but uh i gotta go with cesaro um and maybe 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 it's not so much because he's really just kind of evolved out of the initial character because he was that antonio cesaro he had he was the, he he was a rugby player wasn't no he? it was oxana oxana was was with him and uh yeah he was like a rugby player kind of yeah. thing with like that and i didn't understand what the the thing around his leg was supposed to be for the the, the high leg warmer situation right some kind of rugby pad uh, yeah right mm-hmm. and, and and um 
because that's what they think Europeans are, I guess. Uh, but <laughs> not they. Every they, European they, they looks are. like Ludwig Borga. Don't that's you a, yeah, about. yeah, yeah. Exactly. What happened to that guy? Um, he's, but, dead. Uh, he's actually dead. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Damn Thanks it, for George. bringing the show down, George. Uh, <laughs> but uh, but anyways, uh, oh, Dave Potter, Cena. Early Cena was so annoying to me. Poop and dick jokes, and I didn't like the uh, Dr. Dr. Thumbano- Thugonomics Vanilla Ice era. Oh, that's what made me a fan. That's what made me a fan, yeah. too. Yeah. That was just like, this is something different, right? Like, because, so. like, he was he he went more like the battle rapper approach of it than like the Kevin Federline approach, which yeah, made yeah. that feud so hilarious. To yeah, me. absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Um, no, yeah, that 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 was, and and he did the battle rapper thing and the promos. I think were more his own because who's going to be writing raps on that team? You know, uh, Freddie Prince Jr. Freddie Prince Jr. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you think that's it? You think that's a, those are collabs? I feel like those Freddie are, Prince got a hot sixteen in the back pocket at all times. Uh, the uh, uh, fresh Freddie Prince with uh, the Doctor Thub and Nogs, maybe. He used that Scooby Doo money to drop a mixtape. <laughs> that's right. That's right. <laughs> I love it. But uh, I listened to the, the the New Day podcast that had him on there, and he sounds he sounds like an awesome human being. Um, but anyways. Uh, I think I think everybody went correct on the question. All right, here we go. All right, so we had our homework. Mm. It was Booker T and Jeff Jarrett from October second, two thousand Nitro, the title match. Oh no! And <laughs> Riz just figured it out. Oh no! Uh, and the thing that uh, substitute professor Mad Mike did not mention last week. Was this was also a 49er match, I believe it was called. The one with the four Lord boxes. It's the San Francisco 49ers San Francisco match. 49er match. And uh, it had the boxes in the corner on poles. Of course, because... Because poles. You need four poles, not four one. Poles. Four poles. Yeah, there were four different poles. There were boxes. There were, like, wood boxes going on. Russo stripper magic idea. Yeah, the, exactly yeah. right. And I think it's the same episode. He was in a pope cart. Uh, that but, was uh, actually really funny. It was it. I didn't watch that part of it again. I like. I that did. Part. I did watch the. I did watch the. Um, well, who, it, was to, it was to who, protect him from Goldberg. Yeah. <laughs> so I did. I, I did watch the who did David Flair kidnap thing, mm-mm. which was so I didn't stupid. Even remember that? It was so stupid. <laughs> it was. It was Buff Bagwell. Spoiler alert. <laughs> <laughs> but he un- he uncuffs him to to so he'll reveal himself and then walks away saying like I want to show you guys but it's Buff Bagwell and of course he attacks him it was it was just the stupidest thing those ones also making me angry um, but this one was t- okay again it was a pole title Happy match thoughts, or- it was a bo- there was the boxes. It was like the last 20, 15 minutes of the show. Didn't the first box fall off the... I used, I think, didn't the belt fall out of the, the last belt, box, yeah, right? but I'm yeah. sure yes. the first bo- I'm pretty sure the first box fell outside okay. the ring. Okay, and that's and it was a... It was a a blow-up doll. It was a blow-up doll. Mm-hmm. Because that was the most San Francisco thing, apparently, right? Um, it's Vince Russo. It's, uh, yeah, exactly. It's It's... So that there was that. The second box was a picture of Scott Hall. That was the best moment of the whole match. The, the reactions were <laughs> great. Bo- no, Booker's Booker T's face. Yeah. When he fo- like when he pl- when he posts like poses with the photo and then yeah, yeah. Th- and then he jumped off the top rope and hit hit Jeff Jarrett with it. So that was cool too. Uh, <laughs> best <laughs> sequence. I don't know why I was in this match. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it was just like okay, but it, it's like. So listen, like AEW, like there's a lot of like jokes and inside jokes and things like that that happen over there. But again, I think it's a nod and a wink to the audience. I think when these things were happening in something like that era, w- WCW, maybe we see a little bit of an TNT era or TNT TNA era as well. Um, I think there's a wink and a nod that no to nobody that's watching. Yeah, <laughs> or is, is the, the people problem. in the back? Yeah, you're popping the people in the back, and you're forgetting the entire rest of your audience. You know, versus AEW, you have a YouTube show to let everybody in on the joke, right? Like that's yeah. kind of the weird magic that happens there. It, so it, it's like they're little like, oh, I see you weebs, like <laughs> hardcore fans. It's like yeah, yeah, yeah. 
It's I like would. I know you watch the extra stuff. Like, yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, I mean, I, I, I mean, you, you, you see that on indie shows too. Like, some people watch, maybe follow you, bro, on on Twitter. You, you have this whole kind of thing, and you got to dance, do that little dance, right, where you're like. You give the nod and a wink that those three people in the front row, you know, that are the super fans are going to know, but you also got to not make it too crazy that the, the whole rest of the audience is like, like if you hell? if you don't know the rest of the stuff, you can still mostly watch AEW as a good wrestling show. But if you know this other stuff, you're like, I don't understand what dark why dark or dark order is so weird. But if you know all this all the Kool Aid stuff and all the all the paper yeah, they have like three stuff. or f- they're like a handful of like being the elite episodes of them like join the dark order oh they're great uh, they're recruiting people the recruitment video of wardlow is <laughs> the funniest damn thing i've ever seen I'm gonna look that it's it it, it, it 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 turns into them just kind of um admiring wardlow's physique <laughs> and then they forget to ask him to join <laughs> and he Dude, I I was never sure of Wardlow's acting chops. Stone face right. the whole time. Oh, uh, not just stone face, but like he was reacting, kind of like partially flattered, and then kind of also what the fuck, <laughs> and it was fantastically played. You know, <laughs> Sue's mom, it, or you know, Sue the mom, a uh, 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 tense mom, uh, uh, and stuff like that. It's it's so it's so much fun, guys. Um, but anyways, back to this unfortunate thing uh, so george yeah, so there's that there's a coal miners glove which i don't think anybody it understood been a that gold miners glove yeah i don't know <laughs> oh, man. and then the belt eventually stuff happens beetlejuice from the howard stern show not yep. that beetlejuice. Oh, no. beetlejuice like, no. from the howard who's wearing a superhero suit for i don't know why <laughs> I, he's, he's like the thing is the thing with him he's always in that suit like that, that, that's his entire gimmick, the quote unquote gimmick. Yeah, yeah. He's also bad. Like, he's somebody like, just puts him in a suit. In a I, Superman I, suit. I, I just don't know. I just don't know what's happening. I'm so confused. Why? Why is everybody making me watch this crap anymore? Um, not everybody. Not everybody. I don't know. Vince is. Mike is. I, I'm just taking it all for that. Uh, listen, I got. Well, just be glad I haven't. I haven't made you watch the Great American Bash between. The great Kali, Batista, and Kane. Mm. Yeah. Um, okay. So, yeah. so speaking of which, speaking of Mad Mike, he sent a homework in uh, an assignment mail in for his own assignment. Uh, he says, not on the show this week. It's his mom's birthday. Happy birthday, Mad Mom. Happy birthday, Mad Mom. Hashtag Mad Mom. Mad Mom. Mad Mom. It's your birthday. Mad Mom. Um, I think we skirted copyrights on that one, right? Uh, Let's see. Still have to talk about our lovely homework homework assignment. Boy, what a journey that match was. It had everything. Midgets. I I think we call call them little people. Blow-up dolls. I think we have to call them uh, blow-up sex workers. Uh, an announce table that looked like it was on a skateboard, yet still didn't crash, by the way. Uh, the least effective coal miner's glove I've ever seen. You have experience with coal miner's glove, apparently. And Scott fucking Steiner, for some reason, with a baseball bat. Uh, and, him put, and him putting Beetlejuice in the Steiner recliner. Oh, boy. That's the last oh, shot of the show. Wow. While, while this may not be the most technical masterpiece by any stretch of the imagination, it was damn fun to watch and laughably short. By the way, I do need to uh, do a mea culpa on my stance on MVP. I said he was a, the drags from Impact. But he's actually been consistently the best part of Raw the past couple of months. Yes, yes, I very, very agreeable with that. So good on you, Montel. Uh, I just wish that we could push Cedric to the world title from this, but I doubt it. Um, I'll be back next week. Give thoughts on the battlegrounds, and boy, oh boy, do I have thoughts. That's what we forgot to talk about, Riz. <laughs> That's what the second segment was supposed to be, and I and we started talking. Fucking uh, Sorg. Man, what the, the only th- reason why I'm on here is talk battlegrounds. Yes. Promote my. <laughs> my channel at Risk Plays Games, where I play Battleground. Before I came oh, here, all right. Put a pin exactly on that. Put a pin on that. Before we'll, I came we'll here, we'll get into that. Okay, uh, 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 George, you watched this and you had some uh, uh, thoughts from a refereeing perspective. I hate Slick Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> like I really hate. Oh yeah, Slick Mad Johnson. Mike is with you on that one. Um, but like, 
he proceeded to count three, like two or three double downs for a for a pole for match. a pole match. Uh huh. And like, yep. I was like, why? I mean, unless unless something might have happened during planning where they wanted the count to signify where they were in a match or something. I don't understand. How so, ca- like how can you like? And not only that, like he's counting. He's ca- like there can be a count out, but then. When you know when Jarrett gets uh, low blowed by Beetlejuice, he doesn't throw it out. Yeah, yeah. Where's the there's... so question? Mm-hmm. Was this before or after Slick Johnson wearing biker shorts? Uh, before that was an Impact Era yeah, thing. This is... Yeah, yeah, as, as in STNA. Yeah. Okay, good. So was that it? Was that your big takeaway? Yeah, that was yeah. my take. Uh, I, yeah, I, just... I hate Slick Johnson. I can't. I mean, the soccer ref stuff alone. We I, mm-hmm. I was talking with Bro on the way up here how much I hated that stuff too. But just seeing him, like, um, I I got nothing on that. I don't know whether it's him or whoever was in the headset. If they had him, like, it's just bad. Jeez, jeez. Yeah, it's a it's a freaking pole match. <laughs> Uh, it, yeah, it was. It was unfortunate. Um, I think we can all just hate our substitute professor for that. Well, with that, we do have another video in our assignment. So let's see how I know we're getting so so over on these. Uh, uh let's let's see what's in store for us this week. It better be entertaining. Mm. Uh-oh. Yes. Fascinating info on the fulfill your fantasy match. Oh. Hello, Wrestling Mayhem Show. Oh, God. Sorry. I know. Didn't notice you were there. Well, as I'm sure you're well aware, that was a fantastic lesson from me last week on the uh, the wonders nope. of the match between Booker T and Jeff Jarrett for the WCW Championship. Now, this week, I'm, not, I'm cutting to the quick. I'm cutting to the chase because I've been told that I ramble. Yeah. Speaking of rambling, Mm-mm. well, change a letter, and we will be talking about rumbling. That's right. This week's assignment is... What? Hello, class. Welcome to this week's assignment. My name is from? Professor Jacob Edwin, and I'd like to thank Mad Mike for filling in and giving everybody a weekly assignment for the Wrestling Mayhem Show podcast. I'd also like to thank all of you that are still here with us after Mad Mike tried to fill in for the weekly assignments for the Wrestling Mayhem podcast. Now, quick thing of business, I am going to be posting these on social media from now on. You can find these on at Jacob Edwin for Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can support your local classroom by going to prowrestlingtees.com slash Professor Jacob Edwin. So now let's get to the triumphant return in this week's assignment. Every week I give out a wrestling match for those of you to watch and submit either a written or verbal essay. So this week's assignment, 2006 New Year's Revolution the Elimination Chamber, defending John Cena against Shawn Michaels, Kurt Angle, Carlito, Chris Masters, and the Big Red Machine, Kane. Unsurmountable odds for John Cena, which was the norm for the time. You often saw the odds stacked against John Cena in this era, and the crowd started to take note. They started to take note that maybe nothing could stop John Cena, that perhaps Cena was super. So please pay attention to this crowd because they were taking note of John Cena being shoved down their throats. Maybe he was on a few too many 7-Eleven cups or ice cream bars, as some might say. Please pay attention to this and the subsequent match that follows. Some of you know, for those of you that do know, you know, For those of you that don't know, you're going to see a very momentous and emotional occasion after this assigned match. So take this as a two for one. Continue to watch all the way to the end of New Year's Revolution. And I look forward to hearing your insightful thoughts next week. Thank you. 
Well, there you go. Jacob Edwin has triumphantly returned the Elimination Chamber. And you know what? I forgot so much. I, I, we, I think we all know the match. Yeah. And I by do. the way, mm -hmm. this match is the same week as the first ever Wrestling Mayhem show. Ooh. Because the first oh. thing we talked about, and I rambled and fucked up yelling it, was the live sex celebration that followed. Oh yeah. Oh, so, okay, so yes. And this that is, is the, the first one. week I do know this match. of this show. So that all kinda so now everything wow. you now you remember berries. Yeah, you yeah, remember berries. berries yeah. So let's go back and watch this. Six and weeks see of Kevin Bacon. I, what? <laughs> <laughs> I I, I want to see how many of you guys because I think I want to do the same thing. I think it's going to be also I'm a big Alita fan. Uh, but it's um um uh, how many are going to go watch this match and then watch the the live sex celebration the next night? No, they probably cut that one part out because it's on the network. Because that's, that's one thing that happened. But anyways, but we, uh, yeah, yes, bro. No, it was the lab sex celebration was. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute, is I, that the assignment? I Best that. teacher ever. <laughs> Uh, Riz, by the way, uh, you should have seen Riz's face when he realized what this match was over yeah. there. <laughs> he had the happiest face. I got, I got excited He's there like for a minute. Match. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, maybe he was thinking about the live sex celebration as well. Um, but anyways, so uh, <laughs> we got a call. Somebody wants us to do 92 WCW Sting versus Jake at Halloween Havoc. I think I want to watch it just in general. Yeah. Uh, that sounds uh, like a good one, actually. I mean, you talk about freaking coal miners glove. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> was that a part of that match too? Pretty sure that was the stipulation of that. No match. way. Yeah. Wow. Mm. Speaking of Jake the Snake Roberts. You really love them coal miner gloves, don't you? Well, no, man. I just watched all the WCW pay per views that they basically ever had since like 1990. Wow. Wow. What is so special about coal miner gloves? Like... They're supposed to be loaded, I guess. It's very. They're they're heavier, right? Yeah. So they're supposed to be a heavier glove. And that's tell you the punches hurt more. I mean, it's like it's like having a roll of quarters in your hand when you get. I a punch. never. I don't know the physics of it. But I don't. I don't get it either. It's I just, wear gloves all the time. I, I also, WCW was very southern, yeah. and there were more coal miners watching. Yeah, it was definitely. Therefore, <laughs> true. So. It's about as southern as. Can we get some homework for Lucia Underground? Oh, uh, yeah, that's a good question. Like, that's about I think we had some at one point. Probably. Because uh, if I had to pick a match, I'd have to say either. Uh, Pentagon versus the Death Lotus Squad. I actually, or, re I actually recently watched that episode. Or again. I had to say, um, the one gauntlet match <laughs> that when they first let Matanza loose. So listen, when you are Professor Brohemoth, I don't know if you noticed the very real degree behind Mad Mike in that video earlier. I have a degree in suplexes, like okay. Well, let me let us see your degree for Professor Bohemoth, and and and, I mean, and you can start assigning honest, things. I got be you. Honest, we, All right. We, I mean, Matt, Matt Mike was correct. Did we ever see his? Do we ever see Edwin's degree yet? I, he, we saw we saw, we saw I, Matt Mike's degree. I mean, he had a classroom at RWA, guys. Like he had a chalkboard and everything. I mean, that was that was more than most. That that's more than that's more than what I get to see presented by by uh, uh, supposed doctors. You know, ones that feel good or bad. Uh, in, in independent true. wrestling. So uh, so speaking of Jake the Snake, he is featured in something that I know Riz and I have partaken with. Bro, did you did you pick this up uh, over the over the weekend, over the what? week? The new WWE game. I uh, unfortunately stay away from WWE video games oh, now. Oh, no. Uh, you you've might, been burned one too many times. To. No, listen, uh, okay, li <laughs> listen, listen. All right, well, so this is us selling you on this at this point. Uh, by the way, I want to I wanna, I wanna, uh, uh, level this with um, I have not bought a WWE game, uh, new or otherwise. I don't. Well, okay. Well, 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 I picked up like Legends of WrestleMania and All Stars, but I have not bought a new WWE game since twelve. Same. Not two K twelve. Twelve. It was still THQ. Yep. Okay. Uh, so that's how long I've been. I have sixteen because it was on uh, uh, Xbox Gold for a bit. Um, so I, I have that in the collection, but 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 still, yeah, it's been a while, guys. Yeah. It's been a minute since I bought a brand new game, been a while. and it hurt. It hurt to finally say, you know what? You're special and you deserve this, Sorg. Uh, I'm so. not gonna lie. I was looking forward to it because, uh -huh. like, I've been waiting for an All Stars two forever. It's basically what it is, man. But they took out the best part, which was 
creating your own. Like, what do you mean? With like, they have, they have created a character in Battle Royale. Dude, I, I made, dude, I made Beast Man. Well, there was like kind of a starter, like caveman guy. So I'm like, you're gonna be Beast Man. So, <laughs> I'm gonna have to pick it up now, though. Yeah, yeah. I'll give it a try. Like, there's a bit. No, no, no. There is it. I mean, it's it's good. That I was know. one thing they've definitely left out when oh, they were no. teasing it. Yep, like, yep, yep, yep. No, it was it just is like there. 120 some people roster. That's all they kept saying. Yeah, yeah. No, it was it, just big roster. So, uh, uh, Riz, I'm going to defer to you. You've been playing it uh, professionally on your Twitch stream. Uh, what <laughs> what are your uh, Riz plays games? Um, what what are your impressions so far of this game? How how uh, how long have you been playing it? Yeah, I've been th- playing it for a couple of days now. Yeah. Uh, the first time I played it was I decided to jump right into uh, the online battle royale. Mm. It's a gone battle minute. royale mode. No, is this Fortnite. Oh boy! Oh, well, ba- well, everybody's I mean, jumping well, into the battle royale. It's an actual chair. battle royale. Like it, no, it's, it's a wrestling a, it's battle a, it's royale. Like a royal Rumble. Uh, Why they yeah. call it battle it's royale? It's royal. Uh, but, but, but it's it, endless. It, wasn't it King of the Battleground? Isn't that the official mode? It's called, it's called King of the Battleground. Yeah. Which is like King of the Ring mm. slash Royal Rumble slash sounds any like, other game that you've played. It sounds like slash. survival mode and no mercy. Uh, yes. Yeah, is it okay? It's like slobber knocker mode. Yeah, you just okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, you yeah. just drop in and stay in the ring as long as you can, and you get experience points for it. Yeah, and it just and, drops and, in. And if other there's people. nobody else there, you win. I don't know. I like, kept getting beat up by undertakers. Same. Apparently, same. Everybody so, wants to be like, I, I, I tried. Everybody. I tried getting in there as Bobby Roode, and <laughs> the, the fiend and the undertaker just kicked is my the ass. Hurt and business threw me in out. it. Uh, <laughs> I don't think a lot of the hurt business is in it. Actually, not yet. Anyway, so are they going to uh, add Dabakato no. and the Fire Underground uh, as DLC? Uh, so. Uh, so th- no, I, I'm with you, and I didn't get the because I was having matchmaking problems when I was playing this on Sunday night. Mm-hmm. Um, so I don't know if it was the servers or just being Sunday night. And I'm like, this is a new game. How am I not getting people right? Um, like you know, people should be playing this all the time. But uh, and, uh, I, 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 go ahead. And then I and then Sorg, I, be, I believe your next what your next answer was. Then I started playing the career mode. Oh, oh yes, I got through. I, I'm I'm through at least two. I'm on the third location on this and one. And the one thing I can say is it's a mix between Comic Zone, mm-hmm. professional wrestling, mm-hmm. and oh, there's another comparison I made to it. But the first, the, the second slide, the second area, the second page mm. of... Who is swinging um, a motorcycle? Oh, that's Elias. Yeah. That's the thing that happens a lot, actually. Why uh, he, yeah. So so the video stream I'm showing is actually so, my, my playthrough I was doing on Sunday night on, on Twitch. So you can check out a little bit of that while we're chatting about it. Yeah, you, you can Jesus do that. Jesus Christ. You know, just, go, just go to Risk Place Games. Uh, yeah. But, yeah, um, the second call, like the, the second uh, page of it mm-hmm. features... Stone Cold has ranch. Mm-hmm. And one, two, third. The third picture on that page is just a nice embrace of two individuals. <laughs> Stone Cold and Paul Heyman. Mm-hmm. And how relaxed and nice they both look. Mm-hmm. And it was just it was, it, 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 that part was cool, I, I, and I I enjoyed that part for many reasons. Mm-hmm. Uh, but the storyline is actually really good. Mm-hmm. Like, and and, and I, I I got the fame I've looking said, like Shang Song. <laughs> <laughs> and I've said this before. I don't want a realistic wrestling game anymore. No, no. This might be the new, the first game to bring back the Brohemoth Invitationals. Yeah. Yep. So, so yeah, and I love, I love the comic because it is, is entirely like it's, it, it, I think it's done by the same people. It looks like Boom Comics that's been doing their comic mm-hmm. books, right? And it's very well done. And it is this wild concept of Paul Heyman says, you know, much like the you know maybe maybe Triple H saying I want to make NXT Vince, and he says whatever, do it, kid. Whatever. Like basically, basically, uh, Paul Heyman uh, uh, pitches. I want to do Battlegrounds, new concept in different places. Da 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 da. Hey, Stone Cold, like, go recruit for me. So yeah. and that and then, that's and then, what turns like, into this. 
the end of the first uh, scene, the first this uh, area. Mm-hmm. Sorry, my microphone's popping. Uh, the best part about everything like that is they're doing this interview, like New Japan style, post match. Big feet, sorry. Well, hey, what are you and doing? Then, sorry, big feet. And and then all of a sudden Vince McMahon pops up mm-hmm. saying that this is his baby. This is his work doing, and then Stone Cold just unplugs the TV. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that, was, that was the entire scene. Yeah, yeah. There's a there's a lot of kind of slamming on Vince on this stuff, and it's it's, it's kind of fun actually. So it's um, very fourth wally, and ve- like even, even the one that you, that you guys posted on about that you posted on uh, on my Twitter account when I was playing it. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was just slapping Vince on being cheap. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because they gave they gave him his like airfare or something to go to Florida, and he's like, "Really? This, is this for real?" And he's like, "Yeah, he's pretty cheap." Bus fare. Yeah, it was like a it was a bus ticket to Florida from New York City. Uh, so, um, so yeah, they really play with that. But that I mean, that's all. If you read the comics, like it's all that like background kind of around the matches kind of thing as a as a loose uh, 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 fictitious kind of thing. Um, so, but uh, no, it's it's kind of fun. Uh, so I, it, it is very enjoyable. It's very o- and over the top. That might I have been fed to alligators so, several times. Um, mm-hmm. I discovered the thing in the Mexican arena where you can remote control a goat nice. to attack your opponent. Um, honestly, and this is just coming to me, Riz. Um, Riz, do you remember the backyard wrestling games? Oh, God. Yes. Okay. I... I realize now why I love this game so much because it really does kind of throw back to that style of like, like I mean, there was no wrestling ring involved, but it was that over the top, right? Have back, you ever played like, backstage the greatest assault. unsung wrestling, wrestling game? Hmm. Def Jam Fight for New York. Well, yeah, somebody called out Death Jam Vendetta with WWE that, in here. That yeah, is yeah. one of the most underrated wrestling games in history. Mm-hmm. And nobody speaks on it. It makes me mad. No. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So, so I like the big man. I also, I need to bust out my PS2 and play some black, backstage, backyard wrestling. I, I just, those are so much fun. Got, got M Dog and, uh, and, uh, Matt Cross and Josh Prohibition in those things. Sabu, Madman Pondo. And the ICP, uh, of course. So, uh, but anyways, woot, 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 woot. woot. Uh, no, it's a lot of fun. Oh, I didn't tell my Frank the Clown story. Uh, <laughs> I, I had a run in with Frank the Clown this weekend. Oh no! <laughs> yes, I did. Oh, I forgot he was there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, no, you're you're well reminded. Uh, but anyways, <laughs> I'll talk about that in a minute. But um. Uh, maybe you saw the tweets. I mean, that's, that's basically the story if you saw those. Uh, no, it, 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 I got to say, and it's only a $40 game. Oh, it's only 40 bucks. It's only 40 bucks. Yep. I did purchase the Digital Deluxe Edition. Which was 50 na- Which was 50 Now, I want to also, um, um, I did not realize the format of this thing. Um, so there are unlockable characters. You can pay for unlockable characters, but you do not have to. Nope. Boo microtransactions. Right, right. It's one of those pay money if you want to kind of speed up the process kind of thing. No. Boo, pay to win. Also, also, don't get spe- good scrubs. Don't spend your money until you've gone through career mode because you also automatically unlock several of those characters as you go. Yeah. So, Who's the well, anybody who decides so to spend the money instead of playing career mode is an idiot. I'm sorry. That's well, well, gaming yeah, 101. See, but, but also, if you don't know. Right, like it's not immediately clear that's what's happening, so it, so that that aspect is a little like I'm not crazy about that either. I'm surprised they didn't try and take the Mortal Kombat Crip routine for unlocking everything. Like play matches. Here's a little bit of coins. Save up a oh, thousand yeah, coins no. to pay to unlock this. Yeah, so much, just to get the extra grind out. But they were like, Nah, we'll just give them as well. They do have a gigantic roster, so they probably like, Nah, people would lose interest way too fast. Yeah, and it's um, yeah, so it, yeah, it is kind of that that kind of thing. Um, and but, it's uh, not like a gigantic roster all no, at once. No, there, there's plenty coming, and they said that's going to be coming. But oh, but also, so but also, like it's not. But it's also, it's not like you are not buying all those. You are not. No. You do not necessarily have to buy all those. They are all there. Even the DLC that's coming is unlockable. 
I got you. So, so you are not but stuck is it, with that. But like, I remember the old like SmackDown versus Raw games. If you didn't have the newest DLC, they like you would have so much trouble matchmaking with people. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Um, uh, but anyways, uh, so so uh, you sold me on it. Yeah, but there you go. There you go. It's yeah, fun. It's He's gonna have to wait till winter because, like, World well, yeah, of yeah, Warcraft yeah, yeah. drops. And at maybe the end of next and maybe month. it'll be a little cheaper. So by then too. So you know, hey, to put it on months. Game Pass, I'll definitely grab it real quick. Uh, I don't know if it will be. I don't see a lot of 2K games on Game Pass, to be honest. So uh, I mean, but but WWE games have been on gold. So I, yeah. it may, maybe. Um, so you never know. Maybe they'll buy them too because they just bought Bethesda, and that's and Microsoft interesting. Just bought Bethesda. Yeah, they Microsoft just bought Bethesda. I was like, cool. Doom games are gonna be on my Game Pass. I'm cool. Um, and Fallout's not going to leave Game Pass. I'm cool. They, they do have Fallout 76 yeah. up there. Yeah, they do right now. I don't and, know if I want to play it. Which means that's not going to go away. Yeah. <laughs> but could yeah. you imagine, since Microsoft owns them, they could ask Bethesda to make maybe a new Fable game? Or Wait, but... but, but uh, oh, because that... yeah. Since, that since they own that. Bethesda, they could be like, here, here's one of our titles. Put uh, your magic on it and make us more money. Because yeah. that's a smart thing to do. Don't do what EA does and just buys the company, takes the good parts, guts everything out, and then just gets rid of the rest of it, and then you wind up ruining it. Um. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so definitely re- it's got the May- Mayhem Show recommendation, uh, I think, across the board here. Uh, and, uh, no, it was a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. So, I mean, one thing, I don't think Edge is unlockable. Potentially, and that might have been exclusive for pre-orders and the digital deluxe. Yeah, he'll be pre-order, and then like sooner or later they'll be like, "Oh, you out. can buy Edge alone for like fifteen dollars." Yeah, yeah, maybe they'll, they'll maybe. get their money's worth so, for the people who missed out um, on the pre-order. But either way, I, I is like, I was like, mm, I didn't really need to spend the extra ten bucks, but I Plus, you, you if get, they have oh, create a character, can't you just make Edge? <laughs> well, I don't know about that much. Uh, the way that it is, I'm not sure. Uh, yeah. Um, uh, so so and also so you get so if you do buy a digital deluxe, you get Edge. You get Stone Cold, Rock, and I believe Ronda Rousey with all their outfits, right? Um, And then you get a thousand um, of the gold bucks, which is the money you buy that unlocks things for cheaper, kind of thing. So you can you can't unlock. But so again, the in-game currency. Yeah, but again, so luckily I spent mostly on the women's division, and I don't think there's a lot of them in the career. So, but I did buy Elias, Uh, and he was like the first guy you unlock. I think there is a little bit later, but I don't think extensively. Like I unlocked like Oscar, and uh, I didn't get the. I didn't, ran out before I got the Sasha, Oscar, <laughs> and um, you know, a couple other ones. But um, worthwhile. Uh, interesting to see who's still in there. Uh, uh, Gallows and Anderson are still in it. <laughs> so um, all the new day. Um, you know, it's it it, it is uh, a little no NXT. Really? No NXT. That, that's probably going to be a DLC pack in itself to just be. to be like, hey, give and, us $30. Here's and, NXT. And I feel like I, the nature of the game, like your roster has to be, quote, has to be the most popular characters. Right? Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, we have Bobby Roode. I don't Curtis know. Ella. But is those that, hidden gems are, are, the, are the fun is thing. Is Vader in it? The, no, 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 no. Uh, Legends wise, and they said Macho Man, Ultimate Warrior, guys like that are coming soon. Um, Let me see. They'll but, probably do like a Legends pack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then an NXT pack. Yeah. Then like, oh, another Legends pack. Then mm. it's like, oh, the Women's Revolution pack. So where Stephanie they just... is in it. Yeah. How Stephanie's... do we have Stephanie and not Vader? <laughs> That's uh, a true story, right? Don't check your tone. Yeah. <laughs> they could be listening. Check your tone. You don't get Bro, yourself it's in Va- trouble. But it's Vader. Uh, and it's, it's Stephanie McMahon beats up people. Like mm-hmm. my, buddy, got... my buddy Tyler Nitro worked security for a night. Met Stephanie McMahon got slapped around immediately. Like, <laughs> what <it> happened? <laughs> wow. The episode where she gets removed from uh, when her and Shane were oh. fighting for who gets to be uh, head or who gets to own uh, SmackDown or Raw or whatever. Mm-hmm. And he got her removed from the show and like. He was one of the security guards, and she's like, don't touch me. And the second he goes to touch her, she starts hauling off on him. Uh, I do have an update. Vader will be available in DLC. Bam. Oh. Legends DLC. They'll probably do, like, a bruiser pack where it'll be, like, him, Bruiser Brody, Stan Hansen, just make it, like, all the beefy, like, I'm going to beat you into an inch of your life wrestlers. 
Which would be a great pack that you could easily sell that really well. Terry Gordy Absolutely. better be in there too at some point. But also remember, it's not like a pack. Like there were specials too when I was going with the gold. Like like here's all the Undertaker versions, and here's a two pack with it was like Naomi and Nikki Cross, I think. Like things like that. They're, they're running those. I just in, but in also, game things but like, also oh, here's a few pack. The stuff that you earn, the 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 version of the bucks that you earn for basically everything you do, also apply to that. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. so, like you you pull them up, but also um, things that you unlock for your create a wrestler. You can create a battleground. Nice in there, um, but also like you need bucks to unlock some of the, uh, the like the, stuff like the too. the thing I started to make the beast man with. Like that was like you know three thousand bucks or a hundred gold coins or whatever. So so it is annoying, but not bad kind of thing. Mm. So like, like a lot of fighting games do that, where it's like, oh, you want to customize how your character looks, spend some in-game currency on these random shop items. Mm-hmm, like mm-hmm. the uh, Tekken tag does that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Tekken was really big on that. Yeah. Although, man, I forgot. Uh, so I started playing Tekken Seven when it popped up. Uh, uh, I think I ended up purchasing it. And it was on gold for a minute. Dang it, my big yeah, he's knocking all the mics tonight, bro. <laughs> we got we caught you on the most like uncoordinated night over there. Uh, but it should have been stationary, but I got yeah, wheels. It got wheels. It's all over the place. We'll learn for next time. Uh, 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 Tekken Seven had all the, uh, the the New Japan stuff, so you can be like, "I'm going to throw, I'm going to throw a, a bullet club shirt on this girl," or you right, know, right. you know, uh, you oh, know, yeah, things like they, that. They had the, the hybrid, uh, like the Tekken New Japan hybrid shirts, because uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kenny Omega was Brian Fury. Yeah. Uh, Tanahashi, I believe, was Lars. Okay. Uh, I forget who Okada. I think Okada was King. Oh yeah, because King can get Okada's jacket. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think I got it on King too. Yeah. Uh, so like I went through and just started finding all those guys. So uh, and, and Missy's a big Tekken fan, so it was worthwhile. Respect. We have we have like all the Tekkens now. <laughs> so um, I, I think you pick up some Soul Calibur. Uh, not gonna lie, I ones. spent four hundred dollars on a custom. Uh, not a custom. They, they, they were one of those high quality figure statues of King. It's like him and it's like him standing in a fight pose with like a ring in the corner behind him. You know, what I forgot was good because I was playing with it on the next cloud was uh, Killer Instinct because I forgot the Battle Toads are in it. Battle Toads, the Arbiter, and General Ron. Oh, because uh, it's Microsoft on them, it's so. on Game Pass, so you get the the, uh, the the like the full edition with everybody on it. Yeah. So cause I've always had it from like gold from before. But yeah. it didn't have the, all the unlocks. Yeah, like, so this is turning into a different show, guys. We should bring it back around. Guys, what did you learn from wrestling this week? Hmm. Anybody? Uh, Anybody? That you can get a contract money. from a company and turn around and call the people who work for that same company whores. <laughs> fucking, I fucking hate this angle. I fucking hate it's this angle. Terrible. It's terrible. It's so terrible. God. Like, it's literally like aces and like, like he said, aces and eights. But they like cut out eight months of content, which was mainly just random people getting and, jumped and, the, and left and laid out. And the out. cool motorcycle jackets. And and, and the I did and, like the and style. Like they revealed them one by one. It was never like all ten members revealed at once. Yeah, who was the like, next? Can we like talk D-Lo, about the fact that, that we was... don't know how many members Retribution actually has? Mm-hmm. Well, they do kind of have like the Naruto Shadow Clone thing going, which. I... If I was Tozawa, I'd be so mad that I didn't jump on that idea because he's got all the ninjas. At some point, really, Tozawa really? got eaten by a shark possibly last night in oh, Canada. Yeah. So. What? The twenty four seven title has turned into the itchy and scratchy show. Yeah, so Tozawa, Tozawa <laughs> took a, a ref. They were going to go hide in the water for our truth and to, uh, stop him there, but uh, there was a was built as a shark, and you saw the refs uh, ninja like the ref shirt and his ninja thing like tat in tatters like next to our truth. So maybe Tazawa got eaten by a shark. The fuck? <laughs> Probably not. But yeah, there he was at least in danger of getting eaten by a shark. He's gonna point. he's gonna start wearing just a ninja costume with just a big gape of it just ripped out like he got bit by a shark and survived. Mm. Mm. Wrestling always has those mm. WTF moments once in a while. Mm. That whole show could be an episode of Botchamania. I'm, hurt. I'm hurting. <laughs> I'm hurting right now. Hold on a second. I need a moment. Riz, give me a moment. What did you, what did you learn? Uh, Sorg, I learned that even on Mondays, I can actually watch good wrestling because Effie's on. Yay! <laughs> What's Effie doing? Uh, Effie had on... Um, like the one, the one time I watched it, it was 
an Orange Cassidy match against Eddie Kingston. Oh, which okay, I mean not not from not from uh, AEW, but from like some indie promotion. And I was more in, interested in that than I was with, you know. You don't like T-Bar? Raw. T-Bar is and... Yeah. <laughs> bro, what's your... Uh, bro, uh, sorry, Riz. Bro, what's your uh, retribution name? Uh, The fuck. Cause that's really <laughs> all I want to say every time I show up on the camera. Because that's what everybody else seems to be doing. Uh, they just show up like, the fuck? Uh, I think you'd be a good Axel. I'm just picking names. I'm just picking names. Uh, Riz, I'm sorry. I cut you off. Oh, no. That was it, Sorg. Okay. Okay. Also, right. follow me at Riz Plays Games so I can play video games. Okay. All right. Follow Riz now. Um. So, oh, no. Oh, no. Mad Mike's in the chat room. Uh, oh. <laughs> um. I do not want to know the names for me and Mercedes are. The only good thing is about that is that we are uh, one step closer to getting Mercedes Martinez versus Asuka. Yes. Uh, yes. Um, and Ponder says, I'm assuming their names are either Biatch or something racist. Um, <laughs> we'll see what happens. <coughs> oh, no. um, I'm concerned. Should, should I, be bitch minus the T. Bick. B I C H. It'll be bitch. bitch. Nah, what if it'll be named Bile? Oh, boy. We got both of you guys, right? Oh, uh, you didn't you get me. Yeah, what'd, no. you, what'd you learn? I learned two things. One. More polls does not equal a better match. <laughs> and number two, I hate Slick Johnson. I I, that, that's what I should have said. Was I learned how much George hates Slick Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> Tina learned that there are uh, two things. Uh, I tipped my geek hat to Shane Thorne's name change to Slapjack as a nod to Casey Jones from TMNT. That was Shane Thorne? Apparently, yeah, he's I the. Yeah, I guess I he's the, the. I guess he's. Oh, the he's the hockey one. mask guy. Yeah. Oh, uh, I thought it was slap him, like kind of ghetto sort of weapon people. Sure, used to but, but, knock people out. But, but but he looks. He has the. He has the mask from yeah. Casey Jones. So so Stevie and Ray carried around Casey Jones this whole time, and I never realized it. Oh no! What? Uh, and I. That that's that what was it? That was what he pulled out of his tights. Was Casey Jones? And I'm going to be pissed if they roped Samoa Joe in as leader of Retribution. Uh, yeah. If it gets yeah. him back in the ring, I won't be mad. Mm, if anybody's going to pull this back together, I think it could be Samoa Joe if you don't write for him. Mad Mike says, I learned that jumping off a helicopter onto Alicia Fox is fun, but elicits the same exact response as a hard Irish whip. What? <laughs> Irish whip. Wow. I'm really confused. You jumped out of a helicopter? Uh, we're talking Battlegrounds. That's uh, a thing you can do. I haven't got that far yet. By the way, I like. I'm I'm still playing with the goat, so. Mara's reactions to a simple suplex. Oh, they got Mara announcing in the game. Yeah, it's Mara. It's yeah. Mara. Wait, it's half and half. It's Mara and Jerry Lawler. Uh, so yeah, gonna you say get good in the sexist, back. and then yeah. Ronaldo is gonna say something entertaining. Yeah. I, uh, yeah. You know. They should have gotten Nigel to do it. Mm, where's Nigel? Tomorrow and Nigel. Yeah. A UK pack where uh, they add like Mad the UK guys and yeah, have Nigel McGannis in addition on the commentary. Uh, Mad Mike says, yes, fuck Slick Johnson and fuck him in his stupid shorts. That's for you, George. <laughs> awesome. Wow. I learned. I learned. I had, I had a complicated. I had a complicated emotional response. You uh, did. In, regarding uh, Frank the Clown. Uh, so uh, there were these videos that were played last week. We had seven Frank the Clown videos to play for the first Warrior Wrestling. Okay. Wait, may I ask who Frank the Clown is? Well, you don't know who Frank the Clown is? Who Frank the Clown not. is? Who wants to explain Frank the Clown to Brohemus so he can learn? So, so that's what he learned this week. Why is Frank the Clown important? Go. He's not. First of all. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> There's um, a lot of people so who don't know who try to get that, but there yeah, are right, right, right. So Frank the Clown. Frank the Clown is one of those guys you s always see in the front row at, yeah. at WWE like events. Like Red Hat guy. Uh, well, you are. Dressed, dressed as a clown. But, but. It, it's, like, it's like us describing Steve the Pirate. Yeah, like, yeah, he's, yeah. He's, 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 but he's a clown. Also, he's Frank. also, he is also better known in, in as uh, uh, Noel Foley's boyfriend. Are they still you, together? I, I, I feel like they might be. I'm not sure. 
uh, based on uh, because, I, uh, um, because I think they put that over on on commentary. Um, but uh, uh, he was yeah. So he so he's all over the the Foley family reality show that was on the network a little bit ago. Whoa. Yeah, as as the what do you mean you're dating a clown daughter kind of situation. So there's that. So somebody jumped Joey and Danella. They were in a mask last week. Turns out <laughs> we find out this week is Frank the clown. And his Fuck. and his dude, I I, I I keep forgetting the name of the fellow that was with him. Um, but ba- basically, Frank's kind of I, I think managing this guy. So he comes out and he started attacking some dude, and uh, not Joey Janelle, some other dude, and they're setting up and they're and this dude's going to fight um, uh, Janelle next week, or this week this week, um, this Saturday on the Warrior Wrestling. Um, so tax happening, tax having, they're setting up a, a door on chairs um, situation in the ring. And it's all pandemonium, and then I find out Frank the Clown has my ringside camera. Oh no, yeah, sword! Yeah, he J rocked us. He J rocked us, Riz. Did you did you stab him? I was very upset that some that a clown had my camera, until I realized a clown had my camera, and that was probably the most juggalo thing from the night, and I felt a little bit better about it. He didn't throw a hatchet at him. I did not throw a hatchet at him. Also, I was about on the 30-yard line, and he was on the half lar- half half line. And, man, you know my throwing arm ain't that good. So Come, on, the wrist. Come on, man. Get Snap the wrist. Come on. Come on. Let's be honest about that. My coordination, and I was cold. It's, the only it's thing I'm good at in Call of Duty is throwing tomahawks. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to put that, I'm gonna put that uh, idea in my pocket for later. Why is that not a thing in Battlegrounds? <laughs> what? Tomahawks? Yeah. Well, when they get to Tonka, they go. yes. So now I have a very complicated relationship with Frank the Clown. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, let's see. Did I win against Frank? He's not a real clown. They're saying in the chat. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna argue the validity of his clownness. I was gonna say I'm not an expert, but I guess that's debatable too. Um, but uh, also, uh, Andrew Loveless in the chat room has been. Uh, he's been chatting all night. Thank you, Andrew, for hanging out with us. Uh, he learned that the study of uh, I, I learned that study of lucha wrestling is reverse working the body to the states. Yes, because I believe they they work the right. They work the right. right. Yeah. Uh, I I um, filmed a, um, a seminar with uh, 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 Shima, aka DJZ, aka Walking Wild. Uh, <laughs> did I get his all all of his names? Um, but uh, 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 yeah, so that's, that's I learned a little bit of the insides of of how that works um, too. So. Um, very good stuff. And that is uh, coming to the network, actually, very soon. I think that's on the list of, of stuff to go launch. We might, we might might throw that out a little earlier now I mention it. So, um, But uh, I need your wrestling network. So, I think it's everything. Like Did that. everybody learn things? We're good? Yes? All right. Also, I'll wear your mask because Mick Foley is. tells you to. That's right. Riz, <laughs> Mick Foley saying a lot of things these days. Riz is at Riz Plays Games. Riz at Riz Plays Games. And for Mike in the September's channel. still happening. September is still happening. September is September. still happening. September, go subscribe to Riz Plays subscribe Games. Subscribe for like three dollars, mm-hmm. four dollars, I think, or something like that. There you go. There you go. Uh, 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 referee George, where are you twitching? I don't have a twitch. I'm too busy working on The Last of Us right now. Oh, the okay. Second, the second one. Everybody needs to quit complaining about the one plot point. That's all I'm saying. It's it, yeah, that it's one plot point. It's the gaming community. Not... They never stop complaining. Wait, wait, is it the lady? Anything? The lady plot point? Yeah. I thought there was like there's a yeah there's a little bit of lady lady stuff happening in that right. I mean yeah, it's like, not. Or, I'm not talking about that. Is that the no. thing? It's not that. No, no I don't no, care no, about no. that. I, I well I thought other I thought one, other people were mad about that. Well, I mean now that you say that, I didn't well, even think he, about he, that. He was angle, trying to but... mention it without trying to drop spoilers. Yeah. Oh, there's something else. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay. I'm not. I'm yeah. not. You know, I didn't play the first one either. So a major character. A major character dies and people got real butthurt about it. Oh, okay. Uh, and you don't really even get to play as said character, so. No. Yeah, but whatever. Aww. I'm in, still enjoying the game. Okay. Okay. I'm I, playing World of Warcraft. Yeah, <laughs> I, I I heard. <laughs> still going strong. Bro, Hemoth, where can people find what you got going on? Uh, I'm gonna start streaming soon. Uh, I believe it's Bro Hemoth four one two. I'll have to get back to I you for sure. It is. I've I've gotten like two of them. I got what I use for gaming, and then one I use for uh. Twitch Prime. I gotta figure out which one is which. 
If anybody should have their Twitch switch figured out very soon, it should be you. Yeah. I, I that needs, that has, needs I, to happen, man. Like, yo, yo. Hey, you know what? I think I got three notices for Effie going on Twitch during this show. You need a fucking yep. Twitch. You need to be fucking rocking that. But I, like, that's the thing. I'm like, not gonna tell you how to brohemoth, brohemoth. But, but brohemoth, like, I'm gonna get demonetized immediately. Especially, why? I I, I lose I lose my temper very very easily. Especially Are you if kidding I'm, like, me? Streaming to oh, whoa, like, whoa, hey, whoa, it's whoa, like, whoa! Oh, let's play Dark Souls. Wait, do you even watch Twitch, bro? Yeah, bro. Oh, like, yeah, but I've seen so many people Sar- use it. Sar- and it's Sar- like, this Sar- person guys? is banned. Sarge Sar- just went luck. full Russo. What? <laughs> he just went full Russo. His name is Bro. Yeah, but the way you said it was in a way similar bro. how Vince Russo bro. would have said Bro. 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 Also, hey, hey, also bro. That, that segment on SmackDown made me freaking die. What? Lo- they had Matt Riddle just reading, saying just bro. saying Bro oh, yeah. in different manners. I loved it. I loved it. So, so, I, and I wonder because that's very fam- similar yes. to what they're doing on AEW right now. With um, it was learn Spanglish with uh, Ortiz, uh, uh, Ortiz, Santino and uh, Ortiz. I want to say Tito and Ortiz. I'm like, that's not right. Uh, <laughs> Tito Ortiz is a person. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it felt like I saw a little bit of them. I was like, are they doing the thing for me? Like, you kind of thing. But I don't know, it's still, it's a general idea. But bro. Bro? Bro. Introspective. Bro. Andrew wants to take on uh, uh, bro, I believe, on Vendetta. Throwing that out as a challenge. You don't want that there smoke. There you go. You don't want that you don't smoke. Want that smoke. <laughs> <laughs> Throw it down. Yeah, love smoke. it. Love it. Making things happen here on the Mayhem Show. Guys, thank you so much for joining us again. If you like what we're doing, uh, head over to patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show. Uh, oh, we can record something with you guys. Now we got you in the studio. Uh, so so we'll, we'll be doing that. Uh, we will record something uh, as yet to be decided. <laughs> We'll find it around in the next five minutes uh, for Patreon. Uh, thank you, Riz. Thank you, everybody. Thank everybody in the chat room. Uh, please, again, check out Indie Mayhem Show. Uh, we talked with Matt Light about Black Craft Wrestling, his, uh, his, his, his days there under creative, and how Black Craft Wrestling could be coming back. Listen for that information. And we have an interview with Garrison Creed. He's uh, he's shown up at Warrior Wrestling, at Real Shoot Wrestling. And he's got a great story, ex-Army vet. Been around in the business for five years, based out of Wisconsin. Um, so uh, check that out. That's going to be dropping this Friday. And Riz is getting uncomfortably close to his camera for me off, um, off to the side. Uh, but he, he, there he is. We're going to let you go on the Riz face. Best Riz face ever. We'll see you guys next time. Mayhem out. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Wait for the perfect time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.